I met up a few days ago with one of my friends, Ian Lomax, who's a paleontologist, and we went fossil hunting together and made a little video about it. Here's a little video of the hunt that we had, and then afterwards, I'm going to show a little crocodile fossil. I've known Dean for about 10 years or more, and actually first met him down on the beach. He's always there to identify our finds and let us know if we've got anything particularly important. And now he's gone on to get his PhD in paleontology and is doing really well in that field. So very well done to him. I hope you enjoy the video. Maybe come close and have a look at this so we can see it's popped off. So you've got the impression there, crossed nice and close <laughs> into it. And oh, yeah. yeah, not too bad at all. Let me blow that. Yeah, happy with that. Right, what, what are we going to do, Aaron? Do you want to give this one a go? As the expert, I mean, I'm not too bad at cracking ammonites, but I, I suspect nowhere near as good as you. I think you've probably cracked probably <laughs> many more thousands than me. Okay, let's, let's give this one a go then. Yeah, all right. Um, so, you, yeah. I need you to help me though. Yeah? Yeah? Is that okay? Under, under pressure on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to hold the chisel? I need you to hold the ammonite. Okay, let's do it. You just hold it nice and steady, okay? Yeah. I'm not gonna hit your hand, don't worry. That's, that's what I said. Famous last word. That is the famous last word. Okay, but okay, well, we've exposed okay. the edge. That was quite nice, though. That's the edge exposed. All right, throw it so from there, what do you think? Try and crack it down there? Yeah. Or, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that seems good. Okay. You're a bit nervous, I think. A bit, a bit nervous now. <laughs> I'm thinking, the finger's coming off here. <laughs> nope. It's a little bit sticky. Yeah, a little bit more. <laughs> That's lovely as well, that, to be fair. What do you do? Do you want to continue trying to open it? or? Uh, yeah. It's up to you. Yeah. Give it another shot. Do you want me to keep going or do you want to... Yeah, I'll, get, I'll give it a shot if you want. Okay. We end up breaking it. Do you trade. All right. Safety. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's have a look. What I might do, I might use my uh, my hammer, maybe. Yeah, just, okay. Give it a crack down there. Yep. So if, yeah, if you don't mind. See. Yeah, see, it's popping a bit more. It's just that centre needs to go. It's getting there. Not too far. Yeah. So what do you, what do you want to do? Do you want to hit it some more? Or is that it? I feel like you want to just give up on this one. You're like, come no, on, no, let's no, just no. try another one. Uh, let's, let's just give it a crack down there without the chisel. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, well, okay. What would you typically do then with this? What <clears> would you still recommend doing? I mean, if, I, uh, if it was me, yeah. I'd give it a crack, I, I just anchor it, give it a crack down there with a bit of, bit yeah. of weight. Let's do that. Uh, do That's that. what I would do as well, yeah. Yeah? That edge. Yep. All right, try mine then. <coughs> yeah, get back a little bit. Uh, Is it gone? It's cracked through it, I think. That's annoying. Uh, it's too bad. Still there. <laughs> These things happen. <laughs> Don't laugh. 
<laughs> on, to the, on to the next. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's Although, to, be, to be fair, it's not too bad. You can see the different chambers. I'm just going to say, no matter what, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's good. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Take a close look at that. So that's your first ammo, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. First one today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice shale slab with a nodularized ammonite on the surface. So we're just going to chip it off and see if it's 3D or not. Looks like it should be. Hold it, you? Just going to give it a little tap. Oh yeah, just come up. Yeah. It's easy enough, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah. You think that'll pop out okay? I don't um, think it's going to have bit, too much of a... It's a bit thin. I don't think yeah. it'll open up. Uh, we do have this nodule though, which I think is going to open up pretty nicely. Yeah. So, uh, maybe you can help again, Dean. Yeah. So let's, this rock looks pretty good. <clears throat> I don't mind holding it if you want to chip it open. Oh, no, it's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll hold it if you want. Okay. So you just hold it just there. And again, it should open nicely. You never know with fossils, do you? It's just yeah, yeah, exactly. like hit and miss. Give it a little tap. Starting to go. Yeah, I think it, it, it's not going to be where we wanted. Let's see. Are you okay holding it? Yep. That's not too bad, it's just a bit of the outer world has come off. We'll keep we'll keep we'll keep going with it. Which way should we flip it around? Try it. Try it here. Yeah, I give it a try. Right. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to reveal it, Dean? Yeah. See, see how it's Let's gone. It. Right. Let's have a look. Getting close. Oh yes, look at that. Oh wow. That was perfect. That was really nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Awesome. I'm very pleased with that one. Yeah. That was a good little fossil hunt that we had. Now we're going to show a fossil crocodile piece. This is the finished piece after many, many hours of fossil preparation that my dad did. You can see the back of the skull from the crocodile and there would have been two eyes one here and one here and the full set of jaws would have come all the way to about there and it looks like presumably the crocodile has been eaten either it died in a fight or it was predated when it died and fell to the bottom of the sea difficult to know which is the more likely out of those two options just by looking at this. But as you can see, there's some ammonite fossils washed in with it. And also underneath the fossil, there's a few little belemnites as well. So it's really interesting how there's all these chewed up bones mixed with ammonites and belemnites and other little fossils. And is it, is it possible that this is like a regurgitation of food from an ichthyosaur or a plesiosaur, for example? It's very hard to know for sure. In addition to part of the skull, there's a number of vertebrae ribs as well and a couple of pieces of armored plating the scoots so this is one of my favorite crocodile pieces even though the skull's not complete i just love how it's been predated of, of some description it really adds to the story Hope you enjoyed that video and seeing the crocodile piece at the end. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.